Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back, Jujitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. I hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. I've got an interesting video for you today. I wanna to talk about this offering from Olight. This is the Array Model 2S headlamp. Now you can purchase this headlamp in two different colors at the time of me filming this video. You can get it in black for a retail of $79.95 or you can get it in an orange for $89.95. You can see that it's got several applications that this light is designed for. So whether you're out exploring or hiking or maybe you're a trail runner or snowboarding or even if you're riding a bicycle or a mountain bike or something like that you could definitely use this light for that application now here's a look at some of the information feel free to pause your screen if you want to hang on to any of this info there's a two-year warranty on this product and without further ado let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at the product so the cool thing about this light is it has three sources of light. So you have a floody beam, you have a spot beam, and you also have a red beam. So you got wide range, tight range, and red for to preserve night vision. So as you can see, it comes packaged very well. So right here we have the owner's manual or the user's manual. Now there's not a lot to this. It's a pretty simple straightforward manual. And again, like I mentioned earlier, your pause button can be your friend during this section of the video. There's a little bit about the run times. And that is in reference to flood and spot. And then right here you got the run times for the flood only and the red light. Here's some other info or specs of the light. And of course, I'm gonna talk about all this stuff in the video as we do this. So don't really have to stay here too long. Uh, we already looked at that. And then let's get right over here to operation. I always like including this uh, part of the owner's manual and stuff in the videos, just in case somebody out there might have lost their manual or something like that. So right now we see two spare clips and what these do is these go to the head strap and they hold the wire that goes on the side of the light. So very cool. The next thing that we see here is the USB to USB-C charging cable. Very nice that they include that with the light. This gives us the option to charge this light in many different places, whether it's a wall outlet, a battery bank, a laptop computer, solar panel, a power generator, anything like that. It gives you a lot of versatility. You can charge it in your vehicle, just tons of versatility. So you can charge this thing just about anywhere. Before first use, please remove the protective film on the lens. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then we'll pull the light out. There's nothing left in the packaging, so we're gonna get straight to the light. So right here, you've got three different LEDs. You've got your flood or your wide beam. Right here, you have your red beam. And right here, you have your spot or your intense tight hot spot type beam. Now this will swivel, I think they say up to 60 degrees. And you can see on the back here of this aluminum housing, this isn't plastic. This is aluminum and there's very nice heat dissipators here. And of course there's the power button. So the, the way this thing is built is very nice. And then underneath these two LEDs, you have this 
wave sensor right here. This is to do the left and right or up and down motions. And again, I'll talk about that later in this video. We're definitely going to cover that. So that bag that has those two extra clips, that's those clips right here that you can see right here on the headband. That's those two extra clips. And then on the back, you have the battery. So the, the lamp is built very nice. I like this good head strap it's and I, I like the reflective on it so at night if there's any light coming at you you can be a, a seen at night and then of course like I said a second ago you've got a charge port cover right here and you've got a 2600 milliamp hour rechargeable lithium ion battery inside of this housing so you plug in your USB-C It'll charge at five volt, one amp. It takes about four and a half hours from, from dead to fully charged. You'll get little red indicators in, there's six of them. You'll get two, two, and two, and it'll just kind of move. And then when charging is complete, they'll all be solid. So it's very simple. I've already charged this off camera. It's a light weight light doesn't weigh that much this thing's very bright and powerful it'll do hundred and forty meters of throw and it has a maximum output of 1000 lumens uh, the maximum runtime is also very impressive on this light it's of 30 hours another thing that's really neat about this is on the back here when the light is on you get like red illumination here on the back so the battery pack itself, which sits on the back of your head, for the lack of a better way of describing it, it acts as a tail light on your head. So very, very neat. This is 4.62 ounces. That's everything here, or 131 grams. Now, if you want to talk about the height of the light, it's 0 0.96 inches tall, or 24 and a half millimeters. And then if you want to talk about the length of the light, we're dealing with 2.4 inches or 61 millimeters. And then the width of the light is 1.22 inches or 31 millimeters. Now to turn the light on, it's very simple. You do have to push the button here. And if you see the light just flicker like that, it means that we're in lockout mode. So what we would need to do is long press until the light comes on. From here, the light is on, and if we notice on the back of the housing here, you see that thing flashes. Anytime the light is on, like I said, that tail light feature illuminates. It tells you that the light is on. What we're looking at right here is the flood pattern. This is low, this is 30 lumens, and this is the longest setting. This will last for 30 hours. If we push and hold the button, you'll see that it'll cycle through the modes. We bumped it up to medium now. This is 250 lumens, and on this setting, it'll last six and a half hours. High is a total of 500 lumens, and on this setting, you get five hours of runtime. Now, if I double press quickly, I will switch modes. So now you can see we have both LEDs illuminated. We have the flood LED, and the spot LED both illuminated so we have low this is 100 lumens and on this setting it'll last 13 and a half hours now if I push and hold we'll go up to medium this is 500 lumens and this will last five hours and then of course if I push and hold let's get to high there's high high is 1000 lumens and on this setting it lasts for four hours of runtime. Now, if I double press again, we're going to go into the red light settings. Right here, we're looking at low. This is 40 lumens. This will last 15 hours of runtime. Push and hold. We're going to go to medium. Medium is 100 lumens. This will last eight and a half hours of runtime. And then, of course, if I go to the last setting, um, there's high. High is 200 lumens, and on this setting, it'll last five and a half hours. Now, this light puts out a tremendous amount of light. If we double press again, we're going to go right back to the flood setting. That's the default setting. Now, it does have an SOS function. 
to access that, we're just going to triple press this button, one, two, three. So now you have an SOS, and it doesn't specify the runtime or anything like that. That's just SOS. That's all I can say about that. Single press takes it back to the previously mode uh, that was accessed prior to the SOS. And then again, you push and hold to cycle through the modes. And that cycle is pretty easy. Now, when you have the highest setting illuminated, you get 140 meters of throw and it'll produce 5,000 candela. This light is impact resistant down to one meter. Another thing that's, that's interesting about this one is it's IPX4. So it's not IPX8, but it, it, it will withstand uh, like rain and stuff like that, but it's not really designed to be going underwater. So I wish the rating was a little higher, but it is what it is. Now it does have, if you talk about the wave function, you basically have up, down, left, or right. So we're going to just go up and it'll just get brighter or down and it'll get dimmer. Just like that. I think that's a really cool function because if you need to be hands free and you want to increase the brightness or you want to decrease the brightness, maybe you got big bulky mittens on or gloves or you got grease on your hands or something like that. You don't want to be trying to fiddle around and find this button. That is definitely a cool option to just be able to wave right in front of the light up or down to increase or decrease brightness levels. I think that's really cool. Now the second one is going left to right or right to left. That's going to change modes. So right there you're looking at flood. If I wave my hand in front you get flood and spot. And then if I wave my hand back it comes back to flood. So it's pretty cool. I put my hand maybe about an inch away from the sensor here. You see it just went up because it thinks I'm waving up and I'm doing all kinds of weird gestures here and it's probably throwing the light off but you can see I'm changing modes by going left to right and then brightness levels again is up and down so we can we want brighter we just go up and we want to go dimmer we just go down I think it's very cool once you get used to it it's a little new for me but I think it's cool and it does work pretty good okay right now we're looking at the flood pattern of the light and we are on low this is 30 lumens. This will give us 30 hours of runtime. If I push and hold the button, we'll cycle up through the modes. Medium is 250 lumens, and this will give us six and a half hours of runtime. Now, if I want to get up to high, it goes quickly. I wish they would have slowed that down a little bit. High is 500 lumens, and we get five hours of runtime on high and again this is on the flood only portion of the light if I double press we're gonna go to flood and spot it's gonna take us back down to low this is 100 lumens and it'll last for 13 and a half hours of runtime if I push and hold the button we'll get up into medium this is 500 lumens for five hours of runtime and then again, if I push and hold, we'll get on up to high. There's high right there. 1,000 lumens for four hours of runtime. Now, if I triple press, we will get the SOS function. So let's take a look at that. One, two, three. This is the SOS function. I don't know what the lumens are. I'm going to guess that it's a thousand lumens and I have no idea what the runtime is for SOS. It does not specify that in the manual. So then I single press. The light comes back on to the flood and spot combined. If I double press again quickly, it's going to switch modes. Remember, two presses it's always going to switch modes. Three presses is always SOS. So let's double press again. We're going to get on into that red. This is 40 lumens or low. This is going to last 15 hours of runtime. If I push and hold, we're going to go up to medium. This is 100 lumens and it'll last eight and a half hours of runtime. Now, if I push and hold, we'll get on up to high. Uh, I got to catch it right when it's on high. That 
interface is really fast. Now high is 200 lumens and here it'll last five and a half hours of runtime. So it's very, very nice. Now if we want to play with the hand gestures and you want to swipe downward, you'll see that it went down to medium for us. Swipe it again, you'll see it went down to low. And then if we swipe up, look at it's gonna it's gonna increase the brightness of the light just by doing the gestures. Now if we double press, we can come back to the flood. And we can do the same thing with our hand motion. We can swipe upward. You see we're on medium now. If we want to go down in brightness, you just swipe downward. Swipe downward again. And then of course, if you want to change modes, you just swipe right to left or left to right and it'll change modes. So I went from my left to my right. And now I'm on the flood and spot or lower the brightness level by going down. See that? It's very, very simple. Up and down. It's very cool. So if you had gloves or greasy hands or something like that, and you cannot access the red mode by using the hand gestures. You have to do that by pressing the button. The hand gestures for this light from the off position won't work. You have to turn the light on first, and then you can use your hand gestures. Okay? So you always got to make sure that the light is at least turned on first. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to do your hand gestures. So my final thoughts on this light, the Array 2S, I like it. The head strap is very comfortable. I love the, the hand gestures. You can see me kind of playing with that right there. Swiping, <laughs> changing modes, swiping back to different modes, going up for brighter light. Going up for even brighter light, down. It just, the hand gestures are really smooth. It does take a minute to get to use to how they work and how close you need to be and stuff like that. The light does have a lockout function like I showed earlier. You're just going to push and hold. You'll see the lowest setting and then when it goes off, you let off the button. So this light is very nice. I do wish that it had a higher IPX rating. IPX4 is good, but it could be IPX7 or 8. That would be really nice. The light didn't uh, get hot or anything on my head. It's not too heavy. Again, the strap is very comfortable. I think the price point is good. I think it's a great light. So with all that being said, folks, I want to say thank you for joining me today on this video taking a look at the Olight Array 2S. I like it. I think it's fantastic. I hope you have a beautiful day. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.